Honestly, about 10 months ago when I started my programming journey, I wanted to find the perfect way to learn code fast. I was very impatient and I, I was just excited to get into the work field and start my own business. And throughout all the content that I found on YouTube, Udemy, and even people on like forums would say, do everything in code, read books, watch videos, download tutorials, even to the point where they said like, think like a programmer. Like they taught us how to think like a programmer. You know, they would say these things and I totally believed it. So I started doing it, you know, and after like a couple of months I was in, I was doing JavaScript tutorials, reading books, doing this, blah, blah, blah. And I found that I wasn't really improving. In fact, my progress was slowing down. You see, the mistakes I was doing here is a common mistake with us self-taught developers. You have to realize that more and doing more things isn't equivalent to improving and learning more. Reading all the books on code, watching all the videos, doing all these tiny tactics, which we think are improving our abilities is not the way. So you're saying like, Nazar, what is this way? Do less things. It's also known as the 80-20 rule, which you've probably heard it as. You see, rather than doing everything and being average at all the tasks, which don't really yield results, we must focus on the select few tasks, aka the 20% of tasks that yield us the most results. Now, in your mind, you're probably saying like, what is this guy talking about? I want to read. I want to do tutorials. I want to watch videos. I want to talk to people. I want to think like a programmer. Yes. Okay. I, I know that your mind's probably be fighting this, but I promise you, if you can just ingest and apply what I'm about to say, you will be a programmer way faster than the average person. A good example of the Pareto principle would be this. Imagine there are two fishermen. One fishes across the entire ocean with a net to catch all the fish, while the other fisherman uses a specific spear in a specific location where he knows there are fish. Although in theory, the first fisherman who has the net, who's going across the entire ocean, is able to catch more fish, the guy with the spear is able to catch Although less amount of fish, he's doing it with way less effort because he's found a specific spot in the ocean where he knows the fish are living. And he's able to catch fish one by one almost all the time because he's in that location where he knows the fish are at. We want to be like that guy with the spear because we're doing less amount of work and yielding way more results. So that in the future, if we continue with this analogy, if we want to spear more and we want to spear more fish, we can do it at a much, much, much higher rate because we know where the pain points and where the things are. And this relates to coding and what we're going to talk about in the tactics in that most people are using the net and going across the whole ocean, spending hours and hours and hours trying to find fish and using a very slow method while we are using the spear, aka the tactics that we were talking about in this video. So you're probably asking then right now, what are these high leverage tasks that are going to yield us that results? The two things that are going to yield you the 80% results is learning by lectures or tutorials and doing projects and applying. I beg you, I have done everything in code. I have read books. I have done lectures on like online. I've talked to people. This is the only thing that will yield you results, especially as a freaking self-taught developer. I beg you, if you just do these two things, I know in your mind you're saying it's limited, but if you do these two things, you will see the craziest growth in your life. Rather than being average at most, like, we t like I showed you on that graph where it's like the arrows, you can focus on these two things and be so good at them that you're going to be undeniably great. And imagine, right? Most of programming is just learning and doing projects. We're doing projects anyways. So if we're just learning and then applying, learning and applying, you will see crazy growth because you're already doing it. So again, these two things are going to yield you the most results. And I totally recommend just sticking to these two things. Not only will it be easier for you because you only have two things to do, but you're going to see the craziest results because these are the only things in theory and in application that will yield you those results. By being good at the high leverage tasks, you will be a high leverage individual who can code because you're doing those things that matters. So again, be the fisherman that spears, not the average fisherman that uses a net. And if you want programming coaching, I'll leave it in the description below. And also, if you want our free roadmap, which will help you go through all your software development phases and teach you how to code, it's free. I'll leave that in the link as well. And if you enjoyed the video, check out the video right here. Peace.